Hey there, Grammar Splainies! You asked me for help with this combination of letters at the end of a word in words like button, kitten, rotten. So let's practice. Before we get started, I want to mention this video where you can practice combinations of words like written, ridden, Latin, Aladdin, Eaton, Eden. And this video might also help you. We practice a lot of words besides didn't, like couldn't, wouldn't, ardent, prudent. But for this video, we'll focus on this very common sound in American English, and I'll also tell you what to avoid. So let's start with this word, and the first thing you need to know is that that double T is pronounced as a glottal stop, and you're going to end it with your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Kit. 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 And with your tongue already on the roof of your mouth, it's right where it needs to be to pronounce the N, the N. Kit N. The only possible difficulty is pronouncing that N without a vowel in front of it. So just put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and give it a try. N. 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 So let's put these two sounds together. Kit. Mm. Kit. Mm. Kit. Mm. Kit. Mm. Kit. Mm. My tongue is still on the roof of my mouth at the end of that word. Kitten. Let's do a few more words. But. Mm. But. Mm. But. Mm. But. Mm. Button. Button. My tongue is still on the roof of my mouth. Rot. Mm. Rot. Mm. Rotten. 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 Forgot. Mm. Forgot. Mm. Forgotten. 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 Neat. Mm. Neat. Mm. Neat. Mm. Neaten. 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 Have you got that? Let's do some short sentences first slowly and then at normal speed. I don't like mutton. I don't like mutton. I don't like mutton. I don't like mutton. The sheets are made of cotton. The sheets are made of cotton. The sheets are made of cotton. The sheets <laughs> The sheets are made of cotton. Batten down the hatches. By the way, this is a nautical term, a term from sailing the high seas, and it literally means to close all the doors on a ship called hatches using rods called battens, and sailors would do that in rough weather. Figuratively, it means to prepare for trouble. Batten down the hatches. Batten down the hatches. Batten down the hatches. Batten down the hatches. I've already eaten. I've already eaten. 
I've already eaten. I've already eaten. You can wipe your teeth. You can wipe your teeth. You can whiten your teeth. You can whiten your teeth. Now, I advise you to avoid pronouncing that double T as a flapped D instead of the glottal stop. You don't want to say button, kitten, rotten, because it's considered juvenile or effeminate. And there's nothing wrong with sounding or being effeminate or feminine or juvenile, but you might not want to sound that way. Button. It sounds hard, masculine, accurate, like a, like a rock hitting a rock. Button sounds like water flowing over a rock. So I hope this helps. I'm going to be doing another video on this sound at the ends of words TL in words like rattle, metal, little, Meantime, you might want to practice the dark L. But let me know what else you have questions on, and I'll get back to you.